Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Daniel here with another video looking at the Warner region. So today I am in New Bern on the banks of the Tyne and I'm on the lookout for two explosive stores buildings which are left over from the Second World War. So I'm just beside the Newcastle University Rowing Club and if I turn around you can see one and two explosive stores. So the explosive stores were used to house explosives which would have been used in the event of an invasion to blow up Newburn Bridge. So this site was part of the Tyne stop line. Um, so the plan was that in the event of a German invasion of Britain if the Germans happened to land in either Scotland or on the northeast coast that well the church bells would sound as they would elsewhere in the country and that in the first instance a blocking position would be held on the Coquette line. The Coquette line was meant to temporarily hold the Germans while the Home Guard units and the regular army went and shored up the defences of the main line in the northeast which was the Tyne stop line. So with the ringing of the church bells which would signal that the invasion had occurred or was occurring as elsewhere in the country the men would move to their positions. Members of the 280th Field Company of the Royal Engineers would move to various positions from Durham and would begin laying explosives and mines. So the plan was that not all of the bridges in the Tyne area would be blown. They would be mined and the explosive charges would be set. And the plan would be that sort of they'd be set for when the Germans did come, but the bridges wouldn't be blown in order to allow time for any British forces to retreat to the south of the river. Uh, at the same time, industry would be destroyed in the area as a scorched earth policy was followed. And that meant that the trains of the LNER would be moved from the main lines onto the branch lines and disabled. But um, yes, so these facilities would have been used to house the explosives, which would have blown New Bern Bridge had the worst come to the worst. Um, so what we'll do is I'll take a little bit of a wander around and we'll see what the buildings are like. buildings aren't actually all that much to look at. Um, they are hollow structures in that it is just a brick, well four brick walls um, and in the centre is a cavity in which explosives and other items would have been stored. So there was a door here as you can see but uh, 
it's been patched up looking at the state of the brickwork and the concrete it looks like it's been done in more recent times so it's certainly not a uh, 1940s work I'd probably say it'll push 70s possibly 80s but uh, yeah both sites you can't get inside either of the um, explosive stores but nevertheless they are an interesting aspect of the war um, and a reminder of what could have been and sort of the preparations that went into the defence of not just the northeast of England but also the United Kingdom as a whole to try and defend the country against the German invasion. Um, you know, it is a good thing that the Germans never invaded Britain and that the men you know, forced to actually come to these stores and to take out the explosives and prime them ready for use. Um, but yeah, that's that. We'll continue to look around the northeast for more exciting and interesting aspects of the Second World War and the relics that are left. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, it'd be great if you could hit a like. Also, if you subscribe so that you don't miss any future updates. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on the war, the defences of Britain and also the site in the comments below and we'll catch you next time. Thank you. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more updates like and share. You can also help to support the channel at Patreon. Details are in the description box below.